Hello again everyone, today we're going to go over the second part of our electrical current uh, topic. As you remember from the last, eps last video, we went over uh, the factors that affect electrical current. And in this video, we're going to go over the two phrases associated when looking at different threshold levels of current flow and the types of leakage current that flows through the human body. The two phrases that are normally associated with different threshold levels of current flow is macro shock and micro shock. Now, what's the difference between these two? The main difference between these two is the way the current travels through the human body, which is the pathway, and in terms of the current level as well. So high current and low current. And as you can tell from micro shock, micro, it's a smaller current density. However, with micro shock, the current flow is directly applied to the heart and this is done for an invasive way. So this normally happens in operating theaters and intensive therapy. So during surgical procedures where uh, the patient is exposed to either an electrode or a catheter. So in here, the value normally uh, ranges from if I look up from my notes, it, 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 there's normally a range, but it's in the units of micro amps. So it's very small compared to macro shock, which is in milliamps. So in, mac in micro shock, the range is normally 80 to 180 microamps when applied directly or in very close proximity to the heart, as you can see from that diagram. And this is very dangerous because it can disrupt the normal cardiac function of the heart. Whereas microshock, as you can see from the figure, it travels from hand to the opposite hand. And this doesn't happen through uh, surgical procedures. This normally happens through direct contact with a live part, as you can see from that finger touching the mains, or through an indirect contact when a patient is connected to a monitoring system. Uh, and this could be due to a fault within the system that allows it to have an electrical potential different from the monitor to the patient. Next, we're going to go over leakage current. So I believe in based in the EBME website, leakage current is defined as current that is not functional. And in other words, leakage current is current that's unintentional. Leakage current is normally very small. It's normally measured with uh, microamps. And this is what normally biomedical engineers measure with their electrical safety tester. There's three different factors that affect how much current flows. There's the voltage in the conductor, the capacitive re reactance between the conductor and the earth, and the resistance between the conductor and the earth. And just to give a small explanation for each of these points, the voltage on the conductor, uh, it's referring to the electrical potential difference or the force that drives the flow of current. So think of it like uh, the higher the voltage, it means a stronger push, means uh, leading to more current flow. Capacitive reactance on the other hand is a bit more tricky with the definition but it's just the ability of the conductor and how it communicates with the earth point. And if there is poor communication, when the interaction is hindered, this affects the flow of current. So just picture of it like a, a conversation where obstacles, so that's the reactants, can make the communication more challenging. So the higher the capacity of reactants, the higher the resistance, 
hence lower current flow. And lastly is the resistance between the conductor and earth point. And this is just the resistance uh, the current faces while flowing through the material. So the lower the resistance allows easier current flow, which means a smoother path for electricity to flow through. It's like, in terms of analogy, it's like walking on a clear road versus a road with many more obstacles. If you have got more obstacles, that means it's harder for current to flow through that pathway. Now there's different types of leakage current. There's four different types of leakage current. And they differ with their pathways as well. So we'll start with the first one, which is earth leakage current. And earth leakage current is the way the current flows from the electrical system into the earth unintentionally. So this is from the live wires you can see from that diagram all the way to the earth through the transformer. This usually happens when there's a fault in the insulation, uh, which allows the current to escape to the ground. And of course, this can pose a risk of electrical shock and is definitely a safety concern when it exceeds a certain level. Next, we have enclosure leakage current. This current goes from the live wire and all the way to the casing of the equipment. And as you can see that the person is touching the casing of the equipment is probably a live conductor or an applied part, which is creates a closed circuit, allowing uh, an electrical shock to happen uh, the cause of this is once again an insulation breakdown or faults in the enclosure. It could be a broken case, which allows an exposed conductive part to be uh, potentially touched by staff or a patient, and of course lead to an electrical shock. Next is patient leakage current. So this current is uh, flowing through the patient in a medical setting. Uh, this is often related to medical equipment and can happen if the equipment is not well isolated. So this specific types of leakage current is uh, leakage that flows through the patient when connected to an applied part. So it could be a finger pulse oximeter or an ECG. Lastly, we've got the patient auxiliary current. This refers to any additional current applied to a patient in a medical setting that goes back to the equipment. So a cause of this uh, leakage current is normally uh, a deliberate application uh, by medical equipment for therapeutic or di diagnostic purposes. And it normally flows between the applied parts, as you can see from the diagram, and through the patient. Unlike the previous uh, patient leakage current, when it just goes through the patient and goes straight to ground. That's the difference between these two types of leakage current. Thank you for watching. And we've covered uh, the whole part of the electrical current uh, topic. And next, we are going to cover the classification of medical devices. Thank you for watching.